have you ever been at a friend's house you see this gorgeous ornamental plant and you think you want a plant exactly like that so you go over to your local greenhouse or plant shop and the price while not being insane is a lot more than you're expecting to pay but don't worry in this video slash series i'm going to be showing you how you can make an exact replica of your friend's plant using a part of your friend's plant through a process called propagation Hello everyone, this is Dylan from the Trading Gardener channel and I'm so excited for this video because I get this question all the time. You know, Dylan, you're all about growing food, which is great, but can we get some videos talking about taking care of ornamental plants and propagating ornamental plants? So that's why we're going to be starting this small series on propagating ornamental plants and eventually we'll delve into how you take care of ornamental plants, lighting for ornamental plants, fertilizing and that sort of um, information in future videos. But for today, we're going to be focusing on propagation. Now propagation is just a big fancy word that literally means to make a copy of a plant using a part of a previous plant and that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm going to be showing you how you can do this with one of the easiest and very common plants that people propagate and that's called the different back here also known as the dumb cane um, plant right and basically all we have to do is just take a small piece of this plant here and we can propagate it and make an entirely new plant from this plant here make many new plants actually now you can't just go cutting off any part of the plant and expect to propagate it there is a system there is a way to do it and that's what i'm going to be showing you but because this plant is so simple it's so easy it's perfect for us to start this series on propagation with Here's the different back here, dumb cane plant that we'll be working with today. A friend generously gifted us this plant for this video. And as you see here below the leaves, we have the stalk that we'll be using to propagate. You see, it's very similar to what you'd find on a cane plant, the cane stalk. It's very, very similar. Hence the name dumb cane. Okay, so we're just going to come in and take a, one of the canes here, right? One of the stalks. We're going to come with a sharp knife and we're just going to cut it out at the very base itself so we're not going to actually pull the root out of the soil we're just going to be taking out removing some of these little leaves and we're just going to be taking out this entire stalk here and from this stalk alone i'm going to probably get i estimate probably four plants just from this one stalk alone okay so we're back at the workstation here with what i just cut out right so you just call this a cutting right and uh, i'm just going to remove some of these lower leaves okay so you see what i have here this is what i'm going to be propagating this is my main mission today all right so i'm just going to cut this i'm going to see if i can get three um three of this right i could probably even get four or five right and here you can actually see the direction all right, you can see that this is pointing upwards. All right, these nodes are pointing upwards. So I'm going to get three for my three containers here. And remember that when you're making these cuts, it's good to do it diagonally. That way that you're getting the most amount of um, surface area from roots eventually um, spread. Okay, time to get these cuttings into their medium. I'm going to be using three mediums today. I'm going to be doing sort of an experiment to see which one of these mediums is going to be best at propagating this plant. Here we have our three growing mediums. We have water, we have soil and compost and we have sharp sand i have a friend who used to own a greenhouse who swears by using sharp sand for cuttings this has been pre-moistened right i just washed out some of the mud from the sharp sand uh, we have a mixture of soil and compost mostly compost here right and then we have water all right it's very important with the water that you change it every three to four days you don't want any build up of um, algae in um in the water itself so you change the water out all right so you just make sure that the plant is facing in the correct direction so you see the stalk facing upwards and just stick it in about an inch maybe even less into the green medium all of these green mediums have been pre-moistened right except the water of course okay same thing with the compost and the soil right and then i'm just going to put this into the water itself i may drain on some of this water it looks like too much uh, water but I'll just rest it in here for now and that's it it's important to keep your green mediums nice and moist all throughout the propagating process okay so I'm just gonna keep these plants in some sunlight but not too much direct sunlight so they will be somewhat exposed to light but not too much um, and I'm just gonna have them there for about the next two to three weeks we'll see how the roots um, develop on them which ones develop faster 
and um, see which ones are just doing better depending on the medium. Uh, remember, I've already pre moistened all of these um, mixes here. So we have our sharp sand, our um, compost slash garden soil, and our plain water. So that will, um, you know, that'll be our little experiment. I will see how this is going. So I'll follow up with you all in about two to three weeks and I'll let you know what's going on with these cuttings here. Okay, so it's been about four weeks since I left these cottons to see what will happen to them. I neglected a bit of the water. I told you to change the water every three to four days for no buildup of algae. I didn't do that. I changed it probably once every week. So there's a little bit of algae here. Um, no big, big problem. It's just it would have been better to avoid that. Um, the compost, I can see, you can see some growth happening on the compost here. We're going to actually pull them out and see what's going on underneath that compost and the um the sharp sand you can see some growth going on here as well i added in the second cutting on the sharp sand because i didn't have anywhere else to put it or that i wanted to put it so um we'll see what happened with that as well and there's a little bonus at the end so stick around okay so we're going to begin with the least successful one which is propagating in water right so normally this should have worked it did work we can see some growth here but i wouldn't go ahead and plant this because i don't think it did very very well i mean you could it's just that um, i just don't think it's it's worth it so here we have with compost and as i said you can see some growth in the compost itself i'm actually going to take out all of this all right break it apart so you can see what's happening with the compost actually all right so there we go Okay, so wow, with just the one little cutting that we had put, look at how much growth came out from compost. The simple little cutting. So we can actually plant this and get an entire new different backyard plant. So that's really cool. And the last one is with the sharp sand, which is what I think worked the best. You can see some growth on it. And yeah, there we go. So look at how much growth we have on this cutting here from just pure sharp sand no fertilizing no nothing just pure sharp sand and some water and we have growth on this really really happy with it and also on this cutting just look at this roots from a cutting this was just a stem and now it's springing roots so this can definitely be planted and we can get entire new different back here plants right from this here so now I'm going to show you how you can plant in these cuttings very, very quickly because rain is about to fall here and get an entire new set of plants. Okay, so I'm going to be using this recycled ice cream container. I've cut some holes into it, right? It's important to have drainage, especially with an ornamental plant like different back here. And inside of this container, we have some nice black soil, right? A mixture of compost and garden soil, right? And if you've been following the channel for any time now, I always talk about soil that can clump together like this can and then can just crumble away, right? If it can clump together, that means it's going to have good water retention. And if it can crumble away, that means it's going to have good drainage. And now it's just to stick them in, right? You just want to make sure that it's the right way up. Okay. Just want to cover the roots, have it go down. This is a really good compost. So it's going to go down nice and easily, nice fluffy soil, right? I actually would think that this is a bit too much good soil for this kind of plant. Um, I'd much rather grow something that you can eat. But if you wanted, you could do something like this. Or if you also wanted, you could probably use probably just half of this really good soil and mix the rest with um, some sharp sand or maybe some regular um, gravel that you wash out a bit or sift out. And that should work for this plant because it's really not a very needy, hungry plant like a lot of other vegetable crops. And that's the entire process from seeing a nice plant at your friend's house to making a cutting of that plant to propagating the plant and for planting it over into its forever home. Let me know if you have any questions about this entire process. I'll be happy to get back to you. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And also let me know if you like this kind of ornamental content and if I should continue with the series or if you would rather to see only garden related with vegetables and fruits in the Trini Gardener channel. Remember, you can also follow us on Instagram to see pictures coming out of our garden 
every week pictures and videos that we're always posting and we're happy when you tag us also on instagram so that we can see what's happening in your garden remember if you know someone who could benefit from this information share this video with them to help them get up and get growing and now get up and get growing on a mental plant remember this has been dylan from the trini gardener channel reminding you to get up and get growing take care and i did promise you a little bonus for sticking around these are just some leaves that i had planted to discard when we did the initial cuttings I just put them in pure sharp sand, which wasn't even washed out. And wow, just three to four weeks. Look at how many roots just came out of this. This was just a branch. I know I could actually plant this if I wanted to, and I think I just might, right? Look at this branch here as well. Just pure sharp sand. Bit of water. Probably once every week I water this sharp sand. Look at this one more time. Look at these roots, look how long they are. And I mean, it's not even that much sharp sand, like literally it's probably this much sharp sand. So probably like an inch and a half sharp sand. So cool. Propagation is really, really easy. It's really, really easy. I can save you so much money. Don't go and buy these plants, like make them. Find someone who has it and, you know, make some cuttings. Watch your video, follow the instructions. Super easy.